Yo guys, what's going on? Bobby here and today we got a really really cool video for you guys. So today Supercell has decided to give us a little bit of a sneak peek as to what our gadgets will be. And when I say a little bit of a sneak peek, I do not mean at all little in any way. In fact, we have all 33 Brawler gadgets to show you guys in today's video. I am super pumped that we get to show a video for you guys like this. It's been, this is a totally new thing for our channel actually. Um, so thank you to, to uh, Supercell for giving us the opportunity to share with you guys early access, some gadgets, um, and just the gameplay with it. So with that being said, Supercell has provided us with some gameplay for every single gadget. So we're going to watch that right now. So let's get into the gameplay and let's start talking and showing you guys what every gadget does. Additionally, before we start off and showing you the gameplay, I just want to tell you guys that gadgets are going to be 1,000 coins in the shop and they're going to have a 2% drop rate. So they're going to cost half as much as star powers and, and uh, be two times as common in boxes. So that kind of gives you a perspective on how good slash how rare these gadgets are gonna be. So with that being said, let's hop into the gameplay and let's show you guys all the gadgets. Okay, so starting off with 8-Bit, we have 8-Bit over here. So what 8-Bit does is 8-Bit instantly teleports to his damage booster, his turret, which then gets destroyed. So any single time he has his gadget and he wants to teleport, he can just go to wherever his booster is and he can just teleport there. But unfortunately, his turret will be destroyed when he does so. This is a really cool gadget, really cool getaway mechanism. It's really, really awesome. So next we have Barley. So what Barley does is Barley drops a sticky concoction i don't even know what the word is concoction that leaves a puddle slowing down all enemies that makes contact with it so you guys can see here the enemies are way slower when hit with barley shots it's really cool and you guys can see the gadget button is in the lower bottom right so it's going to be another button that you guys are going to have to get used to which shouldn't take too long so what b does is b drops honey pot that slows down enemies that get too close to it so you don't see a great representation of it here but basically what it does it's a pretty big honey pot it's not that bad i don't think you can throw it anywhere i think it has to be dropped where you are but it slows down anybody get, that gets close to it it's not that great of a gadget this one personally i don't think it's going to be one of the strong ones but we're gonna have to see some gameplay in the real games before we can know for certain so next what we have is daryl or yeah bb i mean sorry not daryl bb now bb's is really cool i think this is actually going to be one of the best ones bb heals 600 health per second for four seconds so this gives bb an additional 2.4 thousand damage and this is really good additionally on top of the fact that you could also have a shield with bb so i think bb is going to be a very meta brawler very soon that's my prediction so next we have Bo. what Bo does is he drops a totem that recharges his and ally super within the area of the effect now it's not huge it's pretty small but it's actually really good for if you're on a team with a gene or a tara i can see this being really useful we might see bow being played a little bit more often when it goes with those crazy comps with bow or with gene and tara so next we have brock now brox is really cool brock blasts the ground below him um and propels him into the air um the explosion deals 500 damage to nearby enemies now this one's cool it's not necessarily that crazy but it's definitely really really cool so bull bulls is kind of eh, a little bit iffy he just instantly rejuvenates him uh himself for 1.5 thousand health don't think it's that strong it's probably going to get a buff next we have carl so carl drops a trail of hot rocks behind his cart that inflicts damage to enemies if they touch it dealing 300 damage per second it's not that great again this one is just okay but you guys can see that it follows him deals a decent amount of damage so next we have colt so colt instantly reloads two ammo into his revolver so that's actually pretty cool it's nothing crazy colt's already a really high dps brawler so you can continuously spray and spray and spray this is definitely probably going to be an underrated one doesn't sound too good but it's actually going to be really cool because brawlers won't be able to juke you in time so next we have crow so crow gets a shield of 60 percent of incoming damage for three seconds that's really good if you're doing like a crow jump score in brawl ball like when you throw the ball forward and you go for the goal that's actually going to be really useful so you might actually see crow being played more we're gonna see but this is a really really good one so next we have daryl daryl spins around and sprays a barrage of shots in all directions this one is really really cool really awesome mike we all saw this we were all fascinated by it dynamite spins furiously and throws multiple shots of dynamite around himself each dynamite deals 700 damage to opponents this one is really cool they show this one in the brawl talk and everyone was like whoa what is happening this one is definitely awesome and it's going to change dynamite 100 percent primo this one's eh el primo grabs the closest enemy within his reach and then flips them like a pancake 
over his broad shoulders. He, he kind of just throws people away. I don't think it does any damage. Let's see. No, it doesn't do any damage. I don't know if it's going to be that useful. We're going to have to see and figure it out. So next we have M's. So M's, um, M's pushes all enemies back um, around her, additionally dealing 500 damage. Now you might think this isn't that great, but it's actually really, really strong considering the fact that the closer you are to M's, the less damage that M's actually does. So her pushing you away is actually also maximizing damage. So Frank, wow, Frank's is good. Frank is able to disrupt being stunned and momentarily becomes immune to any stuns. Like, what? Like, this is going to be so broken for Frank if you have your super and you're just trying to get a goal. Like, it's going to be absolutely unbeatable. Now, we have the homie himself, Gene. So, Gene's is all enemies close to Gene. Again, are instantly pushed back. But unlike M's, Gene is going to gain 1,000 HP instead of do 500 damage. This is really strong. Again, a really, really good one. I love Gene's. Um, gadget. So Jesse triggers a shockwave from her turret, slowing all enemies in the area of effect. This one's really good. Speed is a really undervalued uh, skill kind of thing in Brawl Ball. Or not in Brawl Ball, just in Brawl Stars. All the pros predicted when Max is the worst brawler that he was going to be the best just simply because of his speed. So Leon, Leon's is really cool. Probably the coolest one. Leon creates an illusion of himself um, to confuse his enemies. I mean, this one is just totally cool. You don't know which Leon is which. If I were you guys, use this one this, when you're in grass and when you have your super, so it can be a little bit more bait. Now, Max, Max dashes forward and becomes immune to all damage while enemies, um, while dashing. Now, this one's really, really good. Quick dash, able to do damage. Max is going to be really lethal when people figure out how to use this. Next, we have Mortis. So, Mortis is really cool. Mortis spins his shovel, hitting all enemies around him for 1,300 damage. This one is awesome because with Mortis, you like to go into clumped up groups. So this one is definitely going to be really cool, especially when it comes to those sick team wipes that Mortis is usually able to do. So next we have Mr. P. Mr. P buffs his current porter by increasing damage by 150 and health by 1,000. So this one's okay, but this one can basically, um, you know, like you don't really need the second star power anymore. Use the first star Star power with Mr. P. This one's really good. So Nita. Nita commands her bear to slam the ground, stunning all enemies within the reach. This one is really cool. This one actually gets a really good stun. It lasts a really long time. Like, the bear is so useful right now. It's really awesome. I love that uh, that gadget. So Pam momentarily triggers her healing turret to create a single healing burst that revitalizes herself and all nearby enemies for 1,200. Basically, just an OP heal. I love this one for Pam. It's definitely really cool. So Penny um there's a lot sorry penny blows up her cannon creating a powerful explosion explosion that crumbles walls and deals 1.5 thousand damage to nearby enemies this one is really 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 good this one is definitely super strong so next what we're going to have is piper piper fires off four quick shots to the closest enemy each shot dealing 400 damage so this one's really good actually because it's going to be really good for the close range which is what penny or piper is weak at so actually have poco poco and all nearby allies heal 500 health per second for five seconds this one is going to be really strong expect poco to be in the meta sometime soon this one is going to be really 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 good so next what we have for you guys is rico now rico's obviously is awesome rico blasts waves off bouncy bullets in all directions this one we saw in the brawl talk look at our light go our lights popping off with the rico our lights going crazy shout outs to our light he's the real mvp here <laughs> Really cool uh, gadget, just like a lot of the other ones. So Rosa, again, really cool one. Rosa fertilizes the ground around her, and bushes instantly grow to provide cover. So not only does this provide cover, but this also helps for her star power. It's 3x3 three three grass, which is a fair amount. You can add that and be really strategic with it. So next we have Sandy. Sandy falls asleep for two seconds, and then her health is fully restored. So you guys can see her. She goes into the bush, falls asleep. You can't move. Bam! Full health. That one's really useful. That one's actually really, really cool. We're going to see a lot of that in competitive. I'm I'm pretty scared of that, to be honest. So next we have Shelly. So Shelly dashes forward with the help of a hook and line. Oh my god. Is this going to be scary? This is going to be really scary. Shelly's going to absolutely destroy some people. Next we have Spike. Spike shoots three, three waves of needles in all directions, dealing 520 damage per hit. This one's also really cool. Um, I don't know if it's as strong as the other ones, but it does definitely keep people hit. Really cool, really awesome. 
So next what we have is Tara. So Tara and her allies are able to see all enemies even inside bushes for five seconds. Oh my god, look at this star power. It's so OP. Or not star power, I keep saying that. Look at this gadget on the snake. It is so, so, so broken. It looks so cool. This is definitely going to be a cool one. And then Tick. Tick makes a quick dash, leaving a single mine on the ground. Eh, not that bad. Not that great. But I'm pretty happy considering I don't want Tick to be any better than he is right now. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now of every single gadget and what they do, just so you guys can refer to it. If you guys want to take a screenshot of this and refer to it and show it to your friends, whatever you guys want, want to make things as easy as possible for you guys. I'm going to put it on the screen right now, an image of every single gadget. But anyways, these are so cool. I'm pretty happy that these are introduced to the game. This is a whole other element to Brawl Stars which is really cool. It's making the game less basic, which I really like. It's going to completely change up the pro scene, which is going to be crazy, but it's going to be something that everyone has to adapt to, so it's not going to be that bad. Pretty scary, but you know, it's going to be really awesome. So anyways, that's going to be today's video. If you guys liked it, definitely leave a thumbs up. Thank you again to Supercell for giving us access to this and allowing us with the other big YouTubers to release videos like this early. So anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. These gadgets are going to be awesome. Let me know what you guys think of them in the comment section below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out until then. Bye.